How you all doing guys, Brandon here. Welcome back to yet another video. And if you do enjoy it, please do hit subscribe. This video I'm excited about because this product right here, I have been following the process for probably about three months now. And the guys over at Funky Project has officially sent over their first prototype version. Now you may have seen our Instagram, our TikTok and our Twitter. This is a retro handheld that looks like the old school Game Boy Advance SP and it's launching towards the end of the year. And I wanna share with you their first product. Now the Funky team are very small. I think they're run by four people. They sent me a letter. Uh, uh, the team is Vincent, Michael, David, and Killian. They sent over a bit of information regarding this handheld. Now this handheld is the prototype and it is nowhere near finished. A few things I should point out before, before I jump in is that the plastic cover is 3D printed, so the whole shell is 3D printed, but the final version won't be. The final version will have strong ABS injected cover, uh, and this is not the final color neither. On their website, they're going for a GameCube white, which is quite cool. And finally, uh, there may be a bit of screen, screen tearing and the left and our right shoulder buttons are still somewhat fragile. So I thought I'd get that out first of all in the video to let you guys know that this is nowhere near finished, their first prototype, but it is exciting. Now, here is the packaging. In all honesty, I don't know if this is the packaging the customers are gonna get. Looks pretty neat. And when you open it up, you are greeted with the Incy Wincy handheld itself called the fun key s so there's the handheld we'll put that to the side and in the box i can't imagine this is what the customers are going to get you get your micro usb charging cable and a little lanyard to add on your key key ring because that's how they're kind of selling it almost like the pocket sprite the game boy but what i found with the pocket sprite back in the day is that it's actually way way too small it's fun but it's unplayable whereas this thing here the Funky S is quite a nice size and it's 100% playable. You can play your games on here without any trouble. So here it is. Here is the Funky S. Look how incy bincy this thing is. And you can tell it's an adorable little thing. And my favorite part I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to point out straight away is the clap it makes when it shuts. Listen to this. I bloody love that. And if we pull over, where is it? The Game Boy Advance SP here. This is my original Advance SP, and we'll pull over the Funky S. You can see the size difference on this thing. Look at that. Absolutely adorable. Now, specs-wise, uh, the whole handheld itself is 42 millimeters by 44 millimeters. Milliliters? That's not right. It's definitely not in liquid form. Millimeters, sorry. It comes with a ARM Cortex A7 1.2 gigahertz processor, 64 megabytes of RAM. It can hold an SD card up to 128 gigabytes. It has a LCD IPS screen of 1.52 inches with a resolution of 240 by 240. And it also comes with an itty bitty 600 milliamp battery. So you're not gonna get hours and hours of gameplay out of this. I think I've played on this for about 90 minutes and it was getting towards the low battery sign. So, and I just charged it up for 10 minutes then you probably can't see it's almost fully charged so you can fully charge this thing in almost 20 minutes which is kind of nice uh, chuck it in your pocket before you head out and you're ready to go now you got the d-pad the buttons and it's obviously taken the design from the sp here you've got your home button you've got your start select your d-pad and obviously it's got more uh, buttons it's got the x y buttons on here just so you can play your games it's got the logo on the top here and your shoulder buttons towards the back just like the old school Game Boy Advance SP. Now, the thing I really like about this is the easy menu. So obviously they've loaded on uh, the emulator for me uh, and this, they might do that for you. I'm not 100% sure you will need to uh, uh, email them for that. And this is the menu it comes up with. So it can play Game Boy, Game Boy Color, Game Boy Advance, NES, SNES, Game Gear, Sega Mega Drive, Genesis, Lynx, Neo Geo Pocket, Wonder Swan, and even PlayStation 1 games. So what I'm gonna do now is take you through some of the gameplay. But first of all, I wanna share with you uh, the menu or the menus that you get when you go into your games. As you can see there, it loads up all of your artwork, which is very, very cool. So you can find your games easily. So let's share with you some footage of some gameplay across some of these emulators. So here is a look at Donkey Kong on the original Game Boy. Now it has a, uh, a 0.5 watt speaker in there and I'll admit not very loud at all and when you go full volume it does get a little bit pixelated so 
that's something to take into consideration. If you want a very loud speaker in something of this size, you're not going to get it at all. And the menu button is really simple. You just press this menu button up here. You can go into volume, brightness, your save slot. So obviously on these handhelds, you can save from the exact frame. Then you can load the frame if you want. You can go to aspect ratio if you want it stretched, scaled. Uh, you can do that. And you can obviously exit game to go back into the menu. But I will not be doing that. I want to play. And just, how, just look at how bright that screen is. And it's incredibly crispy as well. I know the resolution isn't large or big at all, but of this size, you don't really need it at all. Like it looks incredibly crispy. I don't know if I can focus up on that. Look at that. It is a very crispy screen. This is such a better angle. Oh no, I dropped it. Not really playing too well at this, am I? There's a quick look at Game Boy. If we want to come out, we just go to exit game. Are you sure? Yes. Come out of this. And then we can look at Game Boy Color. Now I have a save state on Pokemon Gold that I can just load into. So I go to Pokemon Gold, like so. Resume game. I forgot about this. It already knows your save state. So you don't have to load up the game. You just go straight in. You press are you sure? Yes, there we have it. Now, you will be able to see a little bit of screen tearing in this, uh, I don't know if you can see that, there is a little bit of screen tearing here, unfortunately, but if you look at the colors and the sharpness, it is incredibly nice. I'm really liking the screen on this. And people are saying this is way too small. Yeah, it is a, a very, very small handheld, but it's 100% playable. Uh, you just don't expect to be playing it for hours upon hours. This is something you pop on your key ring or chuck in your pocket or your bag. You bring out for 30 minutes to play and you chuck it back in without any problems. Now you can see this is obviously stretched here. But if you wanted to come out to a dis different aspect ratio, you go into cropped or scaled manual zoom if you want. So if you go cropped, it will crop it for you like so. If you come out of that, if you don't want it cropped, you want it scaled, you can have it scaled like so. Probably the better way to play it, in all honesty. And to save, you just go save slot. Are you sure? Yes. And if I move, and then if I wanted to actually load that save slot again, load from slot one, sure, and I go back. Now, let's do one that I haven't tested yet, and that is PlayStation 1. Let's go. See ya. Oh, looked at the camera then. That is not good at all. I looked at the camera and I screwed up. There is a few frame rate drops, but it's actually running impressively well on this small device. Like, it's definitely not emulating perfectly. There's a couple of screen uh, frame rate drops, sorry. Not much screen tearing, I'll be honest. But this is like 100% playable. And I was skeptical when I saw this and got it out of the box. I was like, no way will this be able to run any PlayStation 1 games. But like, it's running it quite well for such a small itty bitty device here. 
I'm actually impressed. Like, nowhere near, you know, silky smooth. But blimey. This is definitely a like a pick up and play kind of scenario when it comes to, you know, playing on this thing. You're not going to be spending hours on it, you know, you just might want to race for 20 minutes and then put it down. And that's 100% what you can do on here. If you're happy to look through such a small screen, but the screen is very crispy. And the colors on it, look, look at the colors. Stunning. So there you have it, a quick look at some of the gameplay across the emulators on the Funky S. You may have well noticed there was a bit of screen tearing and a few frame rate drops, but from what they said in their letter, uh, that basically the screen in this prototype lacks a special sync signal that the manufacturing team will be adding to the final version. So hopefully in the final version, there will be no screen tearing and hopefully there will be no frame rate drops. So, Let's take a look at the build quality. You've had a little look. Obviously, it's using the 3D printed plastic, so I can't really go into much detail or criticize it because it isn't their final version. But they're going to change the shell, which I quite like. It's going to go to a purple slash white version, which looks a bit GameCube-y, which is kind of cool. They are also replacing the buttons, but I'm a big fan of these buttons. They have a really nice clicky response. They're well placed. They're not too close together uh, for you to, you know, not notice when you're pressing a different button. The start select is perfect. You've got your little lanyard section down here and an LED output for you to know when your battery is low. And the uh, shoulder buttons, I think are fine. They also also mentioned that they will be replacing these. But overall, if the prototype is anything to go by, I'm very excited what the funky team are gonna do to this. Like, it still feels great. It still feels like a sturdy product that I can drop, chuck in my bag without having any problems at all. I really, really like it. And the, the, when they come out with the, the new plastic yeah, shell, I think this is gonna feel absolutely great. And I'm excited to see what they come up with. So thank you to the Funky team for sending this out. It's much appreciated. Uh, and thank you again for letting me show this to the Retro Dodo community. I'm sure they'll love it. Uh, and if you guys want any more information on this, there is a link below to the Funky website. And if you do have any questions, shoot me over a comment down below or on Twitter, and I will happily give you some more information on this adorable product. As per usual, thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe, and I hope to see you in the next video. Peace.